Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woking. I'm back with another Jugalia Lost video. If you watched the most recent one with Alberius, I am recording this one right after that one because there's a lot of stuff coming out today on April 1st for some reason. Everyone decided to just screw it, update the gotcha now. Um, today's video, we're going to be talking about this month in Jugalia Lost for April 2021. Um, oh wow, another banner where I won't be getting anything. Sorry, ban. Sorry to hear that. Oh, now I'm gonna get comments from people doing the other video. <laughs> Shout outs to everyone me leaving a comment in the other video. <laughs> We're gonna be going over this month of Jugalia Lost, giving my thoughts, opinions, stuff like that. Um, again, if you end up liking this video, you can leave a like. As always, you could read a comment. As you can see right there, I read every single comment. Um, and you subscribe to me for more videos and stuff in general. So let's get into it. So first off, they start this month by reminding you, hey, the Don and Dragalia Raid event is on, you should play it. I don't know why I'm looking everywhere. Um, Hyde Midgrisoma is the free unit, he's also a free, um, a free 50, so you should absolutely be doing this, especially since this dude is insane. I haven't had time to make a video on him, but I'm going to eventually. He's great. I finally got, they also said like, hey, check it out, we have Galanaut and Miriam, you should pull him now before the banner leaves and the new one comes in. I finally, I have, um, Gala not now, which I'm happy about. I'm not happy that I had the sparking her, but I have her. I'm still happy that I got Miriam. So I'm gonna consider this a, a win for me in general. <sighs> the Wakaban Pupper event is back. They're just basically telling you, hey, the dog is back, and now you can have free camera control, and you can put a bunch of adventurers in it. And there's also a Twitter campaign going on, which I'm going to show right now. One moment. Here it is, right here basically screenshot sharing contests. Six people will be randomly selected, but it's this is a pretty fun thread because you can just look at people sharing their doggo, um, the, their dog pictures. Like, here you go. Arsene, Joker, and the pup. Look out. This looks like a murder case. All very good stuff. All extremely good stuff. Um, so glad that they're doing this. I think this is actually pretty cool. I wish they did more stuff like this, especially because it sounds pretty cool. But yeah, Doggo's back. Enjoy the Doggo. I will eventually make a video on the Doggo as well because I love that the Doggo... It took an entire year, but he's here. But anyway, let's get into the stuff for this month. We have Alberius and High Chithonius. I really like the design of Alberius. You can see the video. It's like six minutes long. I wanted to give them their own video just in case you only cared about unit showcasing stuff. Um... I don't know why you're following me if you want that stuff, but I'll gladly give you my opinion. <laughs> anyway, Alberius basically has like dragon skills for his main skills, and then he, when he shapeshifts, he every attack removes a dispel. It's kind of crazy. Hygethonius it seems to be working 100% with what Alberius wants to do, so they kind of work in tandem in my mind. To the point where I'm like, I'm not sure if Hygethonius works with anyone but Alberius, but hey, we'll see. Um, so that's cool. It's a prize showcase. I'm not going to be uh, summoning my, my, my very much on it because I'm basically tapped out after Galanon. Um, and I need to start saving for the collab that's coming at the end of the month. So, especially since I don't think they're going to end up being... Actually, I'll be very curious to see if they're limited or not. If they're not limited, then I'm going to not be going as crazy as I originally planned. But anyway, let's go. So Trials of the Mighty are coming. Um, you'll be challenged by taking various bosses with a team of one or more predetermined elements and weapon types. Clear the quest. Clear the quest. Clear these quests to earn rewards from daily bonus, like materials for unlocking the mana spirals of certain adventurers, nature's blessings, and fortifying dragon scales. So yeah. If you miss out on earning a daily bonus, um, you'll be able to earn them retroactively up to three days. So don't fret if you miss a day or two of playing. That said, please keep in mind the reward for the daily bonus depends on who, which boss you're fighting. Um, and they also say like materials for unlocking mana spirals will be available from the daily bonus in April for certain Galadrigalia adventures, meaning not all of them. And set of materials for additional adventures, including those without Galadrigalia's versions, will be available in the future. So that means this might be the new way of doing it from now on? I don't know. I don't know how I feel like it. Oh, I think it's actually good because I actually think the way you mana spiral currently kind of sucks ass, <laughs> if I'm being 100% honest with you. But I don't know how much this is going to be good is the main thing here. So we'll have to wait and see on that. I'm interested to see who the first 
Gala Jugalia to get a Mana Spiral is. I'm going to assume it's the three that they showed, which would be Gala Ellie, Gala the Prince, and Gala Ranzel, which I'm going to say right now, Gala Ranzel does not need a Mana Spiral. I don't know why he's getting one, but whatever. And speaking of Ranzel, an Onslaught event will be starting on 411. It looks like the Rough Rider Ranzel is going back to school. Hopefully he doesn't end up in detention for too long. This is Kid Ranzel, right? This is totally Kid Ranzel. I'm not, like, flipping the fuck out here, because I could have swore that this is basically saying we're... How? How? This looks like Ranzel. This guy has the face of Ranzel. I don't know how old Ranzel is. Also, I'd, if he's just gonna be slugging people with a baseball bat and that's gonna be his thing, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Time attack challenge is coming. It's gonna be about going against Shadow Attuned. Oh, that sucks. Get your light things ready. God, I hate... Oh, I hate that fight so much. Part 1 of Chapter 19 of the main campaign will be added in late April. With the way the Fairy Kingdom unveiled, the mysterious surrounding the prince will continue to unravel in Parts 1 and 2 of this chapter. As revealed in the latest Dragalia Digest, an event featuring Vania and another adventurer and dragon from the Rage of Bahumet game will be held in the end of April. Hmm. Okay, so that basically confirms two adventurers and one dragon? Not sure if that includes a free of either of those, but we'll see. Um, that's coming at the end of April. No other further details. <laughs> and in terms of the future updates, um, this basically is like expounding on them a little bit, so let's read them. Players will be able to automatically unlock up to a specific mana node or even all five of Adventure's mana circles at once. As it stands now, the auto unlock feature only supports unlocking a single circle at a time, and some nodes need to be manually unlocked. With this change, we hope that it will become easier to manage the ever-growing roster of adventures, and we will continue to work in the future updates to improve this functionality. This is needed, especially with the bonus that they just currently got out, so I'm glad that they're doing this. With the increase in the number of facilities to build and upgrade, it has become harder and harder over time to manage sometimes sprawling holodomes. To address this difficulty, we plan to add a single screen for which players can view and upgrade all their facilities, eliminating the need to hunt down individual facilities from the many spread across the entire castle grounds. Good. I don't think that's basically saying they're gonna fix the holodrome, but if it does, then that means I can just fine, as long as I have some way of getting it easier. Players will be able to see the teams that others have been using to successfully clear certain high difficulty quests and clean those in advanced dragon trials in the Aikido Uprising. Uh, check out the combinations of adventurers, dragons, and worm prints that other players have found most effective and use these hints to put together a successful team and strategy of your own. We will iterate on the functionality of Knot's Notes over time. For starters, we plan to add a feature that allows you to easily identify the adventurers whom you've used to clear high difficulty quests, as well as feature that allow you to revisit past story scenes. That's good, because I don't think anything like that exists now. Many story chapters, up to including Chapter 21, will continue to be released in halves each month as the Prince and Friends delve deeper and deeper into the Fairy Kingdom. More and more mysteries stand to be revealed. Look forward to that so on and so forth. Those of you who missed the opportunity to recruit Alphonse and Sharina to their roster will be happy to learn that Fire Emblem Lost Heroes... No. Fire Emblem Lost Heroes and Fire Emblem Kindred Ties events will be made available in the event compendium to enjoy at any time in solo play. If you're interested in other Fire Emblem adventures, be sure to check out the notification board. Whoa. Wait. Okay in other Fire Emblem adventures. If you're interested in other Fire Emblem- Okay, I see what they're saying. I thought they were confirming part three. Be sure to check out the notification board for upcoming information on returning summon showcases. Okay, so they'll be coming back. I already have everyone, so I don't have to worry about that. Good luck to anyone who is. Those banners are rough. Thank you for reading this month's update, and especially for playing the game. These past two and a half years, we remain hard at work making the game even more fun to play and bringing you fresh content to experience and enjoy. This month, we give everyone some Elder Water and Champion Testament. Till next time. And yeah, that's this month. Kind of light, it feels like, but to be fair, I guess it's to be expected. I mean, we had, I feel like a lot of this is they're just waiting off. They don't want to talk about the Rage of Bahamut stuff until it's here. They want to keep it a secret, which is fair enough, I guess. Um, we got plenty of stuff to work with still, so I'll be looking forward to Trial of the Mighty. A lot of the, <laughs> I really wish they had said a little bit more about Trial of the Mighty, but I guess they want to wait. Trials of the Mighty. But I get that they want to stick and wait for a bit. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. That's this month in Dragalia Lost. Oh boy. Man, that's not easy. 
I hope you liked it. If you did, you can always show me it by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next adventure, whatever it may be. Till next time, everyone. Goodbye.